Am I cool yet? Okay. <sighs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. This is Stitching and Sound. My name is Kyle. If you are new to my channel, um, just be warned that I, um, I do what is called swearing a lot, so if, if, uh, vulgar words, uh, offend you, please, you know, I would still like you to stick around, but if, you know, if you have a problem with that, I understand, um, but I will let you know you're missing out on a lot of fun. I do take my shirt off every once in a while, so there you go. Okay, it's been a while, it's been about three weeks, um, and this break hasn't really been caused by anything really, it's just been kind of busy, haven't really had a lot of time to, um, <clears throat> film, and I say that as I, you know, do nothing but stitch anyway. Um, but I've missed y'all, how's everybody been? Awesome, great, nice to hear, my turn, I've been great, um, a lot of thing, a lot of things going on. Um, might be getting, I'm not getting a new job, but I'm going to be working into a new position at the job I'm at now, which I will be much happier in. Um, that's that might be more towards this summer though when that happens. It's really up in the air. I've already let them know that, you know, if I'm not going to stop looking for a job that actually fits my needs, but if I, you know, if I'm still around by the time they want to work me into this new position, you know, cool. So that's fun. We're also looking at a new house. My, uh, no, not only have we been looking at, my cousin bought a house. So we get, to, we're able to move in as soon as mid-March. However, the lease on the house we're in now does not end until... I want to say the last week in May. So, you know, my cousin's not going to charge any of us rent the first, you know, those first couple of months that we're still here. He's going to use that time to clean the house, buy furniture, all that good shits. Um, and then, you know, best part is rent is going to be a fraction of what we're paying now. Um, because I'm poor, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, and then some other things are happening, I can't talk about a couple of them, just because, you know, whatever. Um, and I've got some stuff in the works, can't really talk about that either, because I don't know if any of you watched my Stitch With Me video. Um, I tr I can't really voice my plans, because it's a psychological thing that if you voice your plans or goals, a lot of the times you don't reach them. Look at a look up that you know look that up. It's it's interesting because it's definitely happened to me a lot. You know, I say I'm gonna write a novel and I tell people oh I'm about a couple of chapters in and then huh, I just you know throw it away. Jan Hicks knows that problem. Um, for me, I've talked to her about that. So yeah, so that's what's going on with me. Um, massively stressed out. Uh, lots of anxiety, but you know. It's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Um, this video uh, might be a long one. We've got a lot to talk about. Um, I'm gonna be all over the place because I really don't really I, I don't really know how to organize this video. Uh, but I do have notes of everything I do want to talk about, and I've got it in a decent outline. Um, so just a quick overview, you know, I just want to address something. I've got a fun story to talk about. Um, and if you can't tell by the title, I am now participating in the Stitch 9 challenge. Bless, bless Michelle Rudy. She didn't even do anything and she somehow encouraged me to start. Yeah, I don't, how does that happen, you know? I even, I even, I, you know, I even told her, you know, I don't think I'm going to do this and like, you know, it just, I just kept thinking about it, and I'm like, okay, I've, I definitely know what projects I'm going to work on this year, and there's about nine of them, so, you know, why not? Um, I've got some haul, and I've got some whips. My whips are going to be morphed in with 
the Stitch 9 challenge just because all of my whips that I'm going to show today are a part of my Stitch 9 challenge. Okie doke. And, ooh, and I've got a new start to show, which is also part of my Stitch 9. And, um, you know, I, I'm going to do the best I can. I can't guarantee that um, I won't run out of phone space. Which, by the way, hold on, I'm going to see if I have enough phone space. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <sighs> may it, We may be interrupted by... Um, out of phone storage, but hopefully not. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Okay. So, <clears throat> uh, what do we got first on the list here? Oh, see, now I just lost all that mojo. Not mojo. I'm using that word wrong when I say mojo. Energy. Mojo is something different. Okay. <clears throat> um, quickly, what I've been listening to. Um, since my last video, I've become infatuated with Tori Amos. Um, I'm listening to a lot of her. Uh, the I, last video, I said to listen to Space Dog. This video, I, I listened through to her Beekeeper album. And there's a song on there called Sleeps with Butterflies. And I would recommend everybody going to go listen to that. Because it is a very beautiful song. And... Yeah, and if you follow me on Instagram, a lot of my stories in the last couple of weeks have been just random songs I've been listening to. Um, it was either last week or the week before I did, um, I was listening to a playlist of songs, you know, that you wouldn't know are covers. Um, I think by now a lot of people know that Torn by Natalie Imbruglia is a cover. The original artist is Edna Swap. And if you did not know that, I just ruined your childhood. Um, two songs... Okay, none of them were 100% either way. There were... The two songs that were 100% for a while, until one person didn't know or knew it, um, Alone by Heart... Um, I th with one vote out of, I think, like, 30-something. Um, one person knew that Heart, Hearts Alone was a cover. The original performer of that is, uh, I-10. And believe it or not, and I did not know this until I was looking it up, uh, John Stamos actually covered, actually performed that song before Heart did. So... Go look that up. That's That was interesting. And then the other one was um, One Person Knew That Dazed and Confused by Led Zeppelin was a cover. I can't remember off the top of my head who the original was. I think it was Jake Holmes or something like that. I could be wrong. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. I you know I throw up a lot of just random songs that I'm listening to on my story. <clears throat> a couple of people last week... Uh, message me saying, you're really taking me down memory lane because I was just posting everything from the 80s and 90s. So, have fun with that. Um, I have two shout-outs. One is a new floss tuber. The other one is someone I've been meaning to shout-out for a long-ass time. And I apologize to this person that I haven't yet. First one, she's a new floss tuber. She just had her first video out a couple of days ago. Uh, Robin Hall. Her YouTube name is Thimble and Twine Stitches. I'll link her below. Uh, our first video is pretty short, you know, and it's, you know, the typical first video, you know, you can, she's doing great. She's doing great. Um, she's, <laughs> now, I'm assuming she's the one that came up with this term because I've never heard of it, but she has something called pie ads, which are projects in a drawer. Um, yeah, I'm going to start using that. It's a lot better to say than, you know, just shit I have strewn everywhere. So, I'll be using Pi ads. So, go check her out. Love her video. She's someone who's been uh, liking my stuff and following me for a while. Um, she had posted, I think, on Stitch Mania that she was thinking about starting a floss tube. And, of course, I had to encourage her. So, there you go. Go check her out. And <clears throat> this next person, she knows I love her dearly. I talk to her almost every day. Been meaning to shout her out for the last however many videos, and I'm just now getting around to it. Uh, Jennifer Upton, you know I love you, girl. She just reached 1,500 subscribers, I think. 
She either said she almost had fifteen hundred, or she did get fifteen hundred. Jen, I'm so, you know, we've talked about this how bad our memories are, but I love her dearly. I talk to her almost every day about clay bike hymns or new out of prints that she's getting, even though I already have them all. So it's not big deal. Love you, Jen. Um, and she's just, she's just funny. I you if you are not watching Jen Upton. Please, I'll link her below, obviously, but what's wrong with you if you're not watching her already? Funny, just, I can't wait to meet her at StitchCon. Um, yeah, we're, she's just amazing. So, Jen, love you, girl. Okay, now before I get into the Stitch 9 challenge, I've got a fun story to tell you all. <clears throat> yes, I'm holding out the goods for another five minutes or so. If you recall back to my 4th video, my 4th of July video, where I showed that I got Lady of the Flag in the mail, I had quite the shout-out to two floss tubers. Not two floss tubers as in two different channels, but there are two people in this one channel. Um, because I found out that I am living in the same, not just the same state as these two, the same damn town as these two. Holly and Anita, okay, and y'all know, if you've not watched that video, y'all know how, how much I just love those two, and yet I've never met them, I never reached out to them, because somehow it always seemed weirder for me to reach out to floss tubers in the same town as me than it did to reach out to floss tubers on the coasts, and I don't know why, it just, I don't know. Maybe because I, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so, uh, we're going to, we looked at a house, my cousins and I, we went to go look at a house. It's the one that we're going to be moving in. And I'm feeling like crap that day. So I, I'm skanking it up hardcore. I got my glasses on. I, you know, I just don't really care what I look like. I just figure, you know, okay, we're going to spend a half an hour looking at the house and go home and sleep. Well, after we get done looking at the house, they're all like, let's go get some food. And I'm like, oh, fuck, okay. <laughs> and of course, we go somewhere, and it's crowded. Now, McKenna, you're going to get a kick out of the name of this bar that we went to to get food. And if you don't believe, if you don't believe me that this is the name of the bar, look it up. We go to the Horny Toad. Yes, that is the name of the bar, the Horny Toad, to get some food. And sitting in a booth, waiting for our food, and all of a sudden I see someone walk past me. And I'm looking. I'm staring. I'm like, I know who this is. I'll be damned if it wasn't Anita. All, everything just like shuts down, my bowels release, I'm so, I'm already, sh I, you know, I start sweating profusely, I'm shaking. I immediately text um, Michelle Bendy, Steph from Pam, you know, Just Keep Stitching, Steph, Stephanie Schaffner, message her. Um, I text Julie Gulf Coast, I'm just like, oh my god, you guys, oh my god, I'm sweating. Anita just walked in the bar, and all of them are like, you need to go fucking talk to her. And, and I try everything in my power not to, because I just, you know, I'm coming up with excuses, because I'm fucking nervous, you know? I'm just like, I, I look like a skank right now. I look shit, I'm, and I'm sweating. I don't even look like me if she knows what I look like, you know? It's like, and then all of them are like, you know, you need to do this. Go do it. And then finally, finally, I get up the courage. She walks by again a couple of minutes, you know, about 15 minutes later. And I just, I'm like, do it now or otherwise you're not going to do it. I go up to her and I'm just like, excuse me, are you Anita? And she just has this look of, what? And she's just like, yes. And I, I... I say what's probably the worst thing ever, and I'm like, you don't know me, but I really like you. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Okay, I'm fucking this up. <clears throat> and then I have to explain that I, lo 
I love your floss tube channel. And I'm just like, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm Kyle. I have my own channel. I give you a shout out. And, you know, she didn't know the name of my channel, but she knew of me. Because she's like, oh, you're the one with the Mirabilias and the Clay by Kim Dragons. And I'm like, yes, you know me. I love it. <laughs> And we're, and then, you know, just, she, she just, she's just so welcoming and stuff. And she's like, oh, you need to come meet my husband. And I'm like, okay. And surprisingly, you know, she, she's like, Mike, this is Kyle, you know. Well, no, she didn't even say that because she's like, um, Mike, I have somebody you need to meet, another philosopher. And her husband's just like, oh, Kyle, hey, he knew my name. So, he watches me more than they do, which is fine. It's whatever. I'm not, you know, upset about it. It's whatever. So, I'm just, we, her and I just talk for, um, and I'm sweating this whole time. I, you know, I look terrible, you know, and I'm just, I'm just telling her, how, I, you know, like, you know, why I haven't contacted or whatever. And it's just like, you know, so we, we shoot the shit for a while. So, if you're not part of the Midwest Cross Stitch group, I'm going to insert the photo of us here right now. Yeah, so I was, yeah, I was an emotional wreck. I was, like, like internally, though. Like, that photo, you know, I look like I'm doing okay, but inside it's just, like, I'm trying not to shit my pants. You know, it's, <sighs> I'm sweating just thinking about it right now. Okay, so hopefully I get to meet Holly at some point, um, because I just, you know, love them. Okay, so there's that. Okay, one last thing before I move on to the Stitch 9 Challenge, because I just now remembered that I had to talk about this. This is going to be quick. Um, okay, you all know I want to be your best friends. I love you all dearly. Um, the best way to contact me or to ask me questions is either leaving a comment, um, emailing me, or sending me a message on Instagram. For the love of Jesus, please do not message me on Facebook. Mainly because I do not get notified. If we're not friends, I do not get notified that you sent me a message. The only time I ever, you know, get to see messages that I have, you know, you know, that I've been sent from people that aren't friends are when I'm, like, expecting them. Like, when I'm in, on load groups and this, you know, I'm not friends with whoever is selling or whoever is de-stashing, so I'm expecting their response. Um, but I hadn't done that in a while. And so, the other night, I, uh, excuse me, I, um, knew I was receiving a message from this person, and I go into my messages where it's, you know, message requests, that little section, which I don't know how to find otherwise. Um, and there are like eight people <laughs> that have messaged me, some going months back, I, you know, and all of them are saying, hey, I like your floss tube. Can, you know, I send you all this. And it, that's why I say message me on this other stuff, because I just... You know, Facebook, first of all, is for, like, mostly for my private stuff, you know, my family stuff. And that's why I have a lot of unaccepted friend requests. Don't worry, you're in purgatory. I don't decline requests. You're just sort of in friend purgatory. I love you, you're, but, you know, you're acknowledged, but, you know, it's just, you know, that whole thing. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, so, yeah. Somebody called me. Uh, so, yeah, I really don't accept friend requests very often because that's, you know, unless I'm talking to you on a weekly basis, you know, it's just, yeah. Anywho. Um, so, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. But I will touch on something that relates to this later in the video, because I want to get to the goods. I want to get to the goods. Um, I didn't even bring that paper over here. Okay, maybe I won't get to that right now. That's probably better for a demo. I, I'll make my decision later. Okay, anyway. 
Um, so yeah, that's all I want to say about that. Email me, leave me a comment, message me on Instagram. I am on Instagram all the fucking time. Okay, so, okay, on to Stitch 9. I'm sorry that y'all have been waiting so long. You could have scrolled forward if you wanted. Okay, now like I said, I originally wasn't going to do this, the Stitch 9 challenge, and I have, like, no intention on, like, finishing all of these. Um, but, you know, these are the goals I'm going to set myself for these nine projects. I, yeah. Um, so if you don't know about the Stitch 9 Challenge, Michelle Rudy on, Farm Girl, Michelle Rudy, um, on the Midwest Cross Stitch, um, page on Facebook, she, um, decided to do, you know, a little challenge for herself. It was really only for her to do for herself. And, like, even she said, you know, she only expected a couple of people maybe to tag along with her. And then, lo and behold, a whole shit ton of people are doing it. Um, and it's basically just the nine projects you want to focus on in 2019. Um, like I said before, my goal this year is not to buy a crap ton of stuff other than floss that I need for projects that I, you know, might run out of. Um, I've already kind of broken that rule, as you'll see, because I have haul. Um, but, um, so I originally said I wasn't going to do that, because, but then I got to thinking, I'm like, well, I don't really think I'm going to be working on any other projects really outside of these, um, nine that I've got. Um, so I just messaged her, I'm like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to do it. Um, so, without further ado, here are my Stitch 9, and also these first couple, uh, the first four that I'm showing, this is also going to be part of my whips section, uh, because I've been working on them pretty hardcore. Okay, first, we have Fairy Moon from, uh, uh Mirabilia. Um... I got a lot of... The, I finally moved the Q-snap. I got most of her wing done here. I've just got a little bit here, and then her wings will be done, then I'll work on her dress. Um, my goal is to finish the stitching part by the beginning of March. This is definitely going to be finished this year, beading included. I just don't have um, a particular time of when I'm going to do the beading for her. Um, but she's done on 32 count linen. Um, the fabric is Midsummer Night from Under the Sea Fabrics. And if you're not buying from Leslie, you should, because it's gorgeous. Needleminder brought to you by Clay by Kim. So yeah, there's project one. I've got to figure out how to fucking sort all this. Okay. Number two um, is who I call Uma, and you'll see, and I'll say why if you don't know. Um, Caster Bean from Nora Corbett. The reason I nickname her Uma is because she looks like um, when Uma Thurman played Poison Ivy in um, Batman and Robin. Uh, unfortunately, there is already a Nora Corbett called Poison Ivy, so I have to resort to calling this one Uma. Missed opportunity, I think, but, um, but I have worked on her since the last time I had shown her. As you can see, I've got a lot of her hair done. I think, well, I mean, she's got up there, but I got a lot of her balls done here. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I can't remember the last time I showed this on the channel, though. Um, but yeah, making good progress. This one will definitely be done. I could, once I get all the stitching done, if I do this correctly, if I fit it correctly, I can, I would be able to do all of the beading just in the hoop, which is tickling all of my fancies right now. Um, she's done on 32 count MCG textiles linen. And I didn't realize, because, you know, it's a pretty big piece of fabric. I didn't realize, it, it hit me just a, about a week ago, that I could have fit two Nora Corbett's on this piece of fabric if I would have fucking just tilted it that way. I could have fit her and probably Poison Ivy on it because those are the only two Nora Corbett's I have and really the only two I aspire 
you know, I tend to have. Um, although I do want all the poison pixies. Because y'all know, y'all know how I feel about Nora Corbett's. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the smaller ladies. What can I say? So yes, there's that. Okay, next up. Do I have the, yes I do. Project number three in my Stitch 9 challenge. We've got Hannah Sanderson. Um, and I don't think I've even shown this since I've finished all of the wording. Um, but here's what it looks like. Here's where I am on page four. Um, I got a lot... I got this top, the, the top part of the page done, and there's just a little bit down here, and then I'll have page four finished. Now, what I found out is that there are two plus sign symbols in this pattern. One of them is bolded, and the other one is not. And I just thought the bolded plus sign was just like a printing error. Not an error, but like just something went wrong with the printer, and, you know... Because that happens sometimes, where the printer just, for some reason, makes certain things just a little bit bolder than others. Yeah, no, it's not, no. But I'm glad I didn't stitch too much of that symbol in the wrong color, so I didn't have to frog anything. I did stitch something wrong in the flower, but I think it looks okay. But, like, right here, where the darker red stripes are, um, yeah, that was the wrong color, so I had to frog that. But... Heavy, I think. I don't know. Who says that? Ooh, that's a good song by Bewitched. Say La Vie. Look it up. That's, there's some nostalgia for you. Um, Clay by Kim Needlemiter. Yeah, my goal is to finish her. Obviously. I mean, the goal is mostly to finish all of these. But, so yes. I'm doing this version. The one that's truer to the original sampler. <clears throat> Next up, and a new start, by the way, we have Harriet Hartland from Hands Across the Sea Samplers. This is the first time, I think, ever that I'm not make, not including designs where I know I never feel like I want to stitch on again, so I don't make working copies of the chart. But I, I'm just... If you know anything about Hands Across the Sea Samplers, their chart, her, Nicola does amazing work with the charts. They're very big, they're very colorful, they're very bold. And so I'm just, I'm not making a working copy. I'm just eyeballing it, which I have a feeling might screw me over at some point. Um, but yeah. But look at all of this funness happening. And here's where I am. In that, I'm doing this on 32 count light mocha linen. Um, I got the fabric from Cecilia Samplers, which, by the way, you need if you if you want some good pre-cut fabric or like custom cut. Cecilia Sampler, Cecilia's Sampler, she'll she, they do great. And, you know, if you even if you have a hand dyed in mind, and let's say, you know, you don't, like your hand dyed, a hand dyed dyer that you want doesn't do custom cuts, um, Cecilia will, I think. They'll get what you want and custom cut it for you. So, yes, the words are stitched one over one. Um, I'm, I'm Right now I'm feeling for Michelle Bendy because she's doing this on... 40 count murky. I don't remember who the dyer is for that fabric, so I'm not gonna... But, um, I've basically challenged her to never do a normal Hands Across the Sea sampler. Um, but she had that whole thing thought out before I told her that she shouldn't do a normal. Um, anyway, so I feel for her because this is a pain in the ass, which is weird because I do one over one skin for my mirrors, but it's just, I don't, it's something about doing this wording one over one was, I don't know, it was different. So for her to do that on 40 count, <sighs> Michelle, I'm feeling for you, girl. 
I am feeling for uh, Clay by Cam Needleminder. Um, so I'm feeling for you. Okay, that was number four, I think. One, two, three, four. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Next up, now, as you can tell, I've got some big projects with samplers, and I've got two other bigger projects. So I needed to include a smaller-ish project for the Stitch 9 Challenge. And that one comes in the form of Terra Australis. I have not worked on this since, um, you know, I showed it in my last video. Um, but I could finish this, no problem, in a couple of weeks. Less than, I mean, this is what I got done in one sitting. Um, but this is from Dinky, Di uh, Dinky Dyes. I got this included with the silks. So yeah, this will be, you know, this is, this one is just to alleviate some of the tremendousness of it, every other one of my projects. And so is Caster Van. That's a smaller design, so, you know, that's to alleviate some of the stress of these, especially these next three that I'm showing. So yes, there is that. Clay Beckham Needle Lighter. Uh, okay. <clears throat> All right. Next on the list is my Heaven on Earth design. I've not worked on this, but my goal for the Stitch 9 Challenge is to finish two more pages. I've already got it started here, as you can see. I haven't worked on this a lot, but my goal is two pages by the end of the year. So my goal is to write up to here. Um, and I have my iPad, because I didn't want to insert a picture. I've got my iPad so I can just show you the finished design. Um, the design I am doing is called Dragon Pieta. And if it'll load here... My iPad is a second gen iPad, and I'm not meaning like second gen, like you know, whatever, like, iPad error. I'm talking, like, this thing is almost a decade old. <clears throat> so, the design is by, um, Jan Patrick Cranzy is her name. And here is what it'll look like if it'll not... Okay, there we go. Ooh, look at it. So, yeah, I'm up in the here area, and I'm excited because the page that I'm stitching on now, I get to stitch this bird, so that'll be interesting to see something. And... Yeah. So, that's my goal, basically, just to have that corner done. Two pages. I was gonna do one, but Michelle Bendy is like, stop being a little bitch and do... I mean, she didn't say that, but... Um, stop being a little bitch and just, you know, do the thing. Do the full two pages. I'm like, fine. Fine. I'll do it. <clears throat> So yes, um, not a Clay by Kim Needleminder, but still, this is now my second favorite um, Needleminder. It used to be my first until I got my, which I'll show you here in a little bit, um, Thumper, love Thumper. Okay. Next up is um, a Dimensions Gold kit. I'm not going to take this out. Um, uh, Magnificent Wizard. This one I got for Christmas a year or two ago. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so my goal is to finish it. I am pretty far into it. Okay, that's just my needle stuck in there. Oh, and of course I... Of course I stick the needle like that. Um, can you see that? Okay, there we, ooh, there we go. Yikes. So yeah, I'm almost done with the top half, not including backstitching. And then all of this down here is full coverage, which is gonna suck. But I'll show you how far I've come as far as my backs go. Do you see all this carrying? You can tell I was still beginning stitching when I did all of this. Look at all of that. So now I'm worried some of the colors I won't have enough of, but look at that. I carried from here to here. What the shit am I doing? Okay. Um, oh, it's already buried. I was going to show you what my the back of Fairy Moon looks like, just to give you a comparison of where I am now, but it's too, it's buried. 
So yeah, my, that is my goal is to finish that. Um, and the reason I don't pull this out as much is because I despise how Dimensions Golds sort their thread with these thread key, like these weird thread strips. Um, and that's mainly why I haven't really pulled it out because I pulled this out after, I don't know, a couple of months and just all the thread is bunched like that and trying to like untangle that was not okay. <laughs> Luckily, someone I follow on Instagram, her name is Heather something or another. I'll see if I can tag her Instagram below. She did a tutorial on how to prevent that. And by watching that, I got a newfound love of being, you know, these Dimensions kits, because all of them are beautiful. You just braid the sons of bitches. And I'm like, oh, how are you going to be able to pull the thread out? She just, it worked. She braided it all. And I know Julie Gulf Coast, in her last video, her kit parade, was, you know, asking for suggestions on how to do that. That's what I'm going to start doing, because... If it's all in just one braid, there's no way all that tangling is going to happen. So I think whenever I get back to working on this, I will take the time to just braid all of the thread together. And yeah, she was just able to pull one strand, hold onto the braid, and just pull out pull out the thread. And I about I about fucking lost it. <laughs> I you know, and I had commented, I'm like, oh my god, thank you for this. And she's like, oh my, god, I you know, I figured people would have known this. And I'm like, no, nope. So, I'm excited about that. So yeah, um, I am going to have one new start for st Stitch Nine. This is my eighth Stitch Nine project, and I'm gonna have a little story behind this. Y'all know that my favorite mirror design is Angel of the New Dawn. I have the fabric. I now have all the floss. I have the embellishments. All of that good shit. Um, I was originally going to wait to finish Fairy Moon to start this, but as I was in Hobby Lobby yesterday getting the rest of the thread, um, it occurred to me. Okay, the reason, the, I think the reason, I know I've always had an affinity for angels, but more so in the last three years, because every time I look at an angel, I think of my grandma, and she's been gone almost three years now. Um, she passed away. She had a long life of health problems. And I won't get, maybe I'll get into that at some other point. But, you know, it was, it was, it was hard. It was hard. And uh, she passed away on February 1st, 2016, three days before her birthday. So, I'm going to start this. Now, I may not work on it intensely afterwards, but I'm going to at least start this on February 1st in memory of my grandma. And what I want to do, and if anybody has suggestions... Okay, the angel, if I can get it to focus, maybe it won't focus, I don't know. Um, the angel has blonde hair. Y'all know I'm a fan of long, dark hair. Um... But not just that, my grandma was a brunette. And to make this a little bit more personal, I want to do a conversion of her hair to darker brown colors. Um, if anybody has suggestions on a conversion, because I, I, I don't know if I have the patience to do that. I mean, it's only like four colors in her hair, but still. Um, just to make the design a little bit more personal. Um, yeah, give me suggestions on what, what colors you think. Um, so yeah, I'm saying um a lot just because, you know, yeah. So that's my plan for her. And I do want to finish her this year. I have a feeling that once I get done with Fairy Moon and I start stitching on her, she's going to be very, very fast. I have a feeling. Um, yes. So that is Project 8 for the Stitch 9 Challenge. Now, Project 9. Here's my dilemma. Okay. I'm going to show you what is my 10th 
project because it may need to replace my ninth project, and I'll tell you why. Um, so, project 10, but possibly 9, is And They Sinned. By the way, Michelle Bendy is doing an auction for this. Go follow her on Instagram and bid on it if you're looking for it. My goal for this project is half of the project. So right underneath, I don't, you can't even really see that, right underneath all of this. Um, I might be biting off more than I can chew, but once I get through all this fun, this there's not a whole, you know, there's a lot of letters and stuff, so that'll go by pretty quickly. So that's my goal. I am up here right now. I think I can show it. I didn't want to show it just because I have not had much progress on it, and the fabric is, like, way too fucking long. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh my god. See, this is why I didn't want to get it down. Okay. This is where I am. Um, this is so monotonous. I, like, this is why I haven't worked on it so much, because these clouds are just, it's, uh, so I had to stitch this bird to break the monotony of it. Um, Clay by Kim Needleminder, my favorite one. Death's Head Hoth, Hawk Moth. Okay, anyway, um, this was done with the called for gas threads. Um, 35 count lamb's wool linen. We're talking 18 by 55 inch cut. <sighs> yeah. So, I don't know. That's going to... Maybe here is we're halfway. I don't know. I don't know. But that's my goal anyway. And I, if this becomes my... If I need to do this as my ninth project. Shit is dropping. Now... My intended ninth project for the Stitch 9 Challenge. I've been in contact with a certain designer, which I've, I had to ask permission. Um, and the designer said, well, maybe keep it on the down low for a little bit. You know, as in not to mention who it is or whatever. But I've been in contact with a designer to do some model stitching for them. And, you know, you only have so long of a time period in, you know, the year to get a model stitching done. And so that's, that's what my ninth Stitch 9 challenge I want to be. Uh, sh this person may not get me the stuff until, like, maybe late summer-ish. Because they got to go to Nashville for market and, you know... They've got all sorts of stuff they need to do first. So, you know, I had to prepare just in case, you know, it became to the point where, you know, I don't I don't think I'll be able to finish, you know, this project by the end of the year due to just, like, time constraints or whatever. So I will be working on And They Send until that, you know, comes around. Um... I forgot what I was going to say. That's my nine. I hope you liked what I chose. Uh, I do have some new starts planned that aren't a part of that. And by new starts, I mean one, not including Angel of the New Dawn. I really want to start Angel of the Sea. I've been in contact with a couple of people uh, as far as fabric goes. I think, I, I think I've got my fabric. Um... That was the third, like, mystery. I had alluded to it on my last video that there's a possible third. Um, third project that I wanted to start this year, not including Angel the New Dawn and Harriet Hartland. Angel of the Sea was it. It's my favorite lavender and lace design. Do I have it that I can just flash it real quick? I do. Isn't she beautiful? I'm trying to get Blue Wing linen, but, you know, Blue Wing... It's discontinued, so, you know, I think I found a good replacement, though, but, you know. Okay, Stitch 9 is over. Holy cow. I still got more to go, like I said. Long video. Um, I honestly don't know how long the video is, because I've had to stop, 
couple of times. I hope I remember to insert that one picture of me and Anita. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So that's that. On to Hall, I think. On to Hall. Okay. So, Michelle, Michelle Bendy Stitchy had a D-stash thing going on, and, you know, I, I th okay, a week into, into the new year, and I already failed my goal of, you know, not really buying stuff I don't need, um, but I needed this, and so I got them. Okay. Anyway, okay. One thing, I got two things from her. One was Mirabilia 61 Christmas Wishes. Okay, what does it say on the back? My new design is of a boy and girl sitting on Santa's lap and telling him their hopes and dreams. Santa is on a throne and cloaked in festive red and gold. There is much evergreen garland that softly twinkles and... <clears throat> excuse me, I burped. And intricate beading on the columns. I hope your holiday season is filled with peace and joy that I try to convey in this pattern. Oh, holiday is over, Nora. So yeah, I couldn't pass that, because that was the only Mirabilia she had listed that I didn't already have. <clears throat> and then, I could not, I could not pass this up. There was a Teresa Wensler kit that she had listed. Father Winter. Oh my god. Can you... Uh, do you... Uh, <laughs> and, and, to top it all off, it's signed by Teresa Wensler. Isn't that exciting? Oh my god. <laughs> Just looking at the chart for this hurts my face to know no end. I all of the blended threads. All of the blended threads. Michelle sent a note. She's like, "You need to start this Teresa Wensler immediately." And I'm like, "You know that you know. If I feel like one night I just want to like self torture or something, I will surely do that." But um, yeah, uh, and there, it looks like there's white work on here too. Uh. Uh, 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 I'll start it someday. It's not going to be this year. I'll tell you that much. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, okay. I'm done with that now. Okay. Okay, so that was the end of the D-stash stuff. Or, yeah, right? Yeah, okay, D-stash. Now, I should have waited to do my out-of-print Mirabilia Parade because it just seems like they keep going out of print. The most recent one to go out of print that I... Now have in my possession, which means I once again have all the out-of-print Mirabilias. That's right, be jealous. Mermaid of the Pearls. Oh my god. This is probably my favorite mermaid design. Now, it wasn't. Because one, I'm not a mermaid person. And two, I had originally liked another... I don't... Enchanted Mermaid, I think, was the one I liked the most. Because it was simple. And whatever. But when you see this piece finish... This whole foamy deal going on, whatnot, that's all beads. It is all beads. And when you see the finished piece, like when you do it, when there's an up close of that, oh, it's just. Pictures don't do justice. I'm just going to say that. So look, Google finished Mermaid of the Pearls. Now, Danielle. Danielle. Hey, girl, what up? She did a tour a couple of months ago of all of her finished cross-stitch stuff and she her dining room area which is now her crafting area um mermaids all along the wall this is one of them and i i i had a messenger i'm just like how long did that beating go you know how long did that beating take and she's just like it took about as long as the stitching and as you can tell you know that's a lot of beating people but what can I say? I'm a sucker for torture. So I had to, you know, I'm going to do this one. <laughs> Not this year, but I'm going to do it. 
And if you watch Jennifer Upton's last video, she had mentioned that her and I had been talking about how much embellishments must cost for this thing because... Jesus, tad bands in Christ, people. <laughs> Okay, and now my last piece of haul, and then I'm probably going to end the video there just because it is getting a little long, but I'm glad you all stuck around if you have, and if you haven't, then you've, you're not going to hear me say any of this, so it's whatever. Um, now, I got an email shortly after my last video, and, you know, I wanted to show the chart, but I couldn't, you know, this person said, you have no way you have to to mention this on your channel or whatever, but I really wanted to show the chart, and when I show the chart, now I just almost have to mention it because, you know, it's signed. So, um, after my last video, I got an email from Kitten Stitcher, Teresa Vanette, designer of Shakespeare's Peddler, and she's just like, you know, I just love that you did that project for your mom, you know, uh, you know, a, a kid's most important person is their mother, and this really just touched home for me, and so I will let you choose a design that you want from my shop, and I'll send it to you, and I about shit my pants, because it took me a little bit to process who, who it was that was emailing me, even though I saw her name and Kitten Stitcher in the thing, and so, you know, I, you know, I just... So I'm like, oh my god, you don't have to do this. But, you know. So I went onto her website, and I chose Jane Philpot 1837, an Adam and Eve sampler, because I need all of the religious stuff I can possibly get. And I just looked at this, and, you know, I just knew this is the one I needed. Isn't that... I mean, that is stunning. It's a reproduction sampler, obviously. What does the metal say? I don't want to take it out. Um, but it's gorgeous, and you can see why I want, you know, it definitely has similarities with a lot of other samplers around this time period, you know, these trees, and then this border with giant flowers, you know, it's, it really reminded me of the Uffendale Sisters, which I'm still on the look for, so if anybody has it, you know, please do not hesitate to contact me, because I, I want it badly. Okay. Um, anyway, so I just let her know that I'm not going to be getting around stitching this any anytime soon, but I definitely, this tickles all of my fancies. Definitely tickles all of the fancies. Okay, that's the end of haul, not including my clay by cams, but I didn't want to get those out. Somebody said you need to do a clay by cam video. I will, but I've only got like 15. So it'd be a short video, and they're on all sorts of projects, and I don't want to pull them off. So, maybe this summer when, you know, because let's see, you know, we got 26 weeks until summer. You know, if you're starting January 1st going on. So that means I could potentially have 26 more Clay by Kim's. It's not going to happen, because I've already skipped a few weeks, because, you know, I didn't need anything that she was showing. Because I already had it. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. That's my haul. That's my video. I don't have anything else to say. For some reason, I don't know how to end videos. Um, but yeah, thank you all. For, oh, thank you all for the lovely comments on my last video of um, me doing that gift for my mother. Uh, she enjoyed it. She really enjoyed it. And um, my mom is my most important person. So... That's the dealio. I See, why do I get to this point? I just don't know. I just don't know. So, I'm just gonna end here. Keep being amazing. Let those fucks fly. And for the love of Jesus, say no to acid. Okay. See y'all next time.